In this video, I'm going to show you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to make a logo for your Shopify store on Canva. So if you're currently not using Canva, I would suggest you to actually do this on your computer. So go into Canva and then create an account. And when you have created an account, you should now be taken to this page right here. If you cannot find Canva, just Google on Canva and you will be able to find their official site basically. And now you should be taken to this page right here when you have actually created your Canva account. So now what we're going to do is to just search like this in here. So search for logo. And then as you can see, we can select Canva templates in here as you can see. Because what will happen now is that you will get some uh, templates from Canva to like pre-made basically that we can use, which is going to make the process much easier, in my opinion at least. We can click now right here where it says category as you can see. So for example here, social media, education, video, marketing and stuff like that. So if this is something that you want to be able to filter for, it's possible. Now we can click on all filters as well as you can see. So this is going to be a couple of, as you can see, it shows us a lot of filters that we can use. But for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is to just scroll down and see if we can find a good one. By the way, all of this ones right here, as you can see with a crown, this means that this uh, special design right here, it's cost to be to, for us to use it basically. You need either a Canva Pro subscription to get this template as you can see, or you will need to pay separately basically. But those that don't have a crown, they are for free. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to see, uh, show you those that actually don't have a crown, just so you know. So we're going to just scroll down a little bit and see if we can find a good one that we can use for free on Canva. So let's see, we can actually take this design as an example. I'm just going to click on customize this template now, as you can see. The reason why I want to use this one is because it's a circle and I think a circle can be good for us to use. So now what we're going to do firstly is to just define our brand. So what kind of things are you selling? Are you, for example, selling dog or pets food basically? Or are you selling some uh, service, some social media service or anything that you actually are selling basically is going to reflect on your logo. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to select, for example, let's select dog or pet food as an example. So what I'm going to do now is to just search for a pet background. Let's see if we can find something, something nice for us here to choose click on photos right here actually let's click on graphics instead let's see if we can find a good one in here going to for now remove this one right here because we need to actually make sure that we can get a good background for this it's not that important but let's see if we can find something that doesn't uh, that doesn't cost anything for us here to use can take right here Let's see if this one is good enough. This one is actually not good enough. Okay, we're going to stick for this one. I'm just going to make this one, this color right here, just for now, basically. So now we're going to make a, a logo on Canva that is specified for our Shopify store that sells, uh, let's say dog food as an example. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to remove this one right here as well. I'm just going to have this circle right here for us to use. So I'm going to search for dog right here. And let's see if we can actually use something right here that is for free. So for example, this one right here that doesn't have a crown, it's uh, for free for us to use as well, just so you know. So I'm just going to take this one right here, drag it so that we get it basically in the middle of the logo right here, as you can see. I think this one is decent actually. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to search for a dog food right here. And let's see if we can find a good one that we can actually use also for uh, for free, basically. On Canva, let's see if we can find a good one. A lot of those are, unfortunately, for purchase, as you can see, but I think we can find a good one still. Let's see. Maybe something like... Maybe something like this, actually, it's not a bad alternative. We can have it either in the logo itself or we can have it outside of the logo. Actually, I'm just going to have it here instead, I think. Let's make this a, another color. Just it, it is possible if you just mark it right here and you click right here, you're able to make it another color as you can see. So we can just play around with this one right here. Let's see, I think, yeah, I think this one looks pretty decent. Actually, I don't think this one looks bad at all. Let's see if we can find something else. Maybe we can use this one as well for 
our logo. So for example, this one right here. So I think that this one is actually looks pretty decent to be fair for a logo. Uh, it, it has dog food right here and dog that has eaten its food as you can see and the dog itself in the logo, which basically symbolizes exactly what we're doing. We are, as you can see, we are selling uh, dog food right here. The dog is eating the food and now it's done basically. We can see if we can find any other like more, maybe more like happier dog, I guess. I think it looks better if dog is a bit more happy. Maybe, I don't know, no, this one wasn't good. Let's see if we can actually have this one instead. I think this one looks better because it looks like the dog is more like satisfied with the food, I guess, right? So yeah, this one right here, I think looks much better than the last one. Now what we can do, we can see if we can find any frame. So you can see circle frame that is also uh, good for us to use can have this in, let's take this one in, maybe in this color, we can try it and see if it fits right here. Let's see, I'm just going to play around here a little bit. And this is, by the way, this is something that you can play around with as well uh, to make your logo pop out a little bit more, I guess. I, this color wasn't really that fitting, I can see. But yeah, I think this one is much better actually. Wow, I think this one is actually not bad at all. I'm actually really surprised on how good we were able to create this logo. So yeah, as you can see, we are doing this for a Shopify store that sells dog food, right? So uh, right now our theme is pretty amazing. I think this logo actually looks pretty good. But yeah, now we are going to, uh, we're going to of course add a text as well that symbolizes our brand. So you can click right here where it says text, as you can see, and you're now able to play around with different fonts here if you want. So I think this some of these fonts are pretty cool that you can play around with. For example, this one right here, I'm going to remove the other classic right here. So I'm just going to like uh, name it. Actually, this one, this font wasn't that good. Let's see if we can find anything else. This one is more maybe more fitting to the concept of our logo. This is more like playful, playful like text basically. Uh, let's see, pet food or sorry, dog food ink or something like that. I mean, I'm not sure about the text here, to be honest, because I don't really have a, like, I don't have a Shopify store that sells dog food, but this one is not bad, I think. I mean, it could be worse. Or we can have, like, something like this, maybe. It looks better. I don't know. 2024 or something like that. Yeah, this is uh, obviously me playing around with the logo itself here, but uh, by the way, you are able, if you select it right here, as you can see, you're able to minimize it as well if you want to, or of course, make it even bigger. If you just want to be able to make this one right here a smaller, you're just going to um, mark this one right here. And let's see, oh, actually it's not possible, I'm sorry. We're going to do, we're going to click on copy right here and paste, and we're going to remove this one from here. I'm going to remove this one from here. I'm going to make this one here, remove dog food from here. So we just have this one right here, as you can see. Let's make it this one right here smaller, basically. I think it looks better, in my opinion, at least. And this is, uh, once again, something that you can play around with uh, yourself. And here we have a pretty decent logo, to be fair. I don't think this logo is bad at all. I think it matches the theme of it all. We can even maybe change the color here to make it more like, uh, like similar colors to what we have here. I mean, this is not necessary, of course. But uh, I think this logo is actually pretty amazing. I'm just going to see, you can see that this one is for some reason here as well. We can just click right here on these three dots, click on delete this page that, so that we only have this one right here as you can see. And yeah, in my opinion, this logo looks pretty amazing. I mean, it's not bad at all. Uh, this one I think is ready to go. So when you're done, you can just click on share right here and then click on this button right here to be able to actually get it on your computer and then you are able to basically have your own logo. You can even rename this as well, like logo for a uh, dog food shop. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty amazing. So this is basically exactly how to create a logo for your Shopify store on Canva. Just play around with the elements right here. As you can see, see if you can find it. This is all like all of this, as you can see, this is not premium. This is something that you can use as well. So just play around and make sure that you can make a logo for your store. I think it's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of things that you can use and I'm pretty sure you will be able to make an amazing logo as well. So that is exactly how to do this.